Hello Aries, welcome to your general reading with Angelic Ascensions. Hope all is well Aries, let's get into this. So how this is going to go down Aries is I'm going to do a reading for the couples. We're going to look at the singles and then we will look at those of you who are getting to know people. Um, you know, in the talking stages where you haven't really made a commitment to this person yet, but you're wanting to see where this goes. We're going to take a look at these things and then we will head into the general part of your reading. So let's begin. So this is going to be for the Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So right off the bat, Aries. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Others of you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Scorpio. Or you could be dealing with someone with a combination of these in their chart. Could even be a Gemini. Could be an, uh, This could be an Aquarius or a Libra, but I get Gemini so strong here for some of you. Aries, you may have air in your chart. You could definitely, some of you Aries could be on the Gemini, Aries Gemini cusp. Okay, maybe you had a fallout with a Leo. Who could even be a family member? Taurus, so you could be on the Aries Taurus cusp, some of you guys are going to be dealing with a Taurus. We got Capricorn that, that, is, that shows up right front and center in your reading. You got a decision to make, couples. Hmm. So, Aries, you come up in reverse. Now, this is a Leo relationship. Aries, you're dealing with a Leo. This is pretty intense. All right. Okay, so this actually could be your Leo. There is somebody from your past that maybe you're thinking about. You may be reuniting with this person or maybe they, this person is crossing your mind lately. Some of you may be afraid of love and vulnerability at this point. So maybe right now that's not really on your radar. This relationship is not really on your radar. Or maybe at some point it wasn't. For some of you, Aries, you may have a change in perspective about this relationship. Maybe it took for you to end things with your partner. Did you guys end it? it I, yeah, it looks like something is over. If it's not over, then it's virtually over because it looks like it's only a matter of time before you see the truth about someone that's trying to pull the wool over your eyes. It looks like someone's not committed and it looks like you might find out that you're getting caught up in the middle of a love triangle and it looks like somebody may not have waited around for the other person to choose them this could have been you Aries that decided that you didn't want to wait around for somebody to choose you so you got yourself out of this okay, because maybe you're feeling like your partner just really wasn't putting in the effort any longer Maybe you feel like your partner was becoming lazy in the relationship and kind of settling, like settling in the relationship and not really doing what it takes to keep you. Having a third party didn't help. So, yeah, it looks to me that maybe you decided to drop out on this, of this relationship. Maybe you kind of flew off on the handle or in other words, maybe you acted out of character in some way. Yeah, when you found out that you, when you looked at the situation, you took a ver bird's eye view of your situation and realized that your partner may not have been giving as much as they were in the past. And yeah, it was only a matter of time before you realized that your partner was stepping out on you. For some of you Aries, this could be a same-sex couple type of relationship. For others of you, maybe not. You may have had a family with your partner. Maybe you guys were growing into something or maybe you did see a future with this person. For some of you, you didn't have a family. You felt like maybe there was a potential for you guys to really have something of that caliber with this person. For some of you, you do, you did, or you do have a family with them. And I'm seeing a father that may have walked out on their child or their wife but for some of you Aries, this could have been something that may have played out in your childhood. Something that could have, could be plaguing you, maybe on a subconscious level. 
could have been, you could have been an abandoned child. And that could be affecting you and affecting your relationships to this day. Your father could have walked out on your mom and that could have damaged you. Maybe some things that you may be healing from. Some of you, this third person that's kind of in the middle of this relationship, you could be transitioning out of your current relationship into another one. This new relationship could be somebody that, um, could be, like I said, you're transitioning into this. This person could be perfect pastime for you, possibly. Anyway, it looks like you might be conversing more. It looks like you might be anticipating more messages from this person. Right? It looks like you might be getting something really positive out of this. And this could be the start of something new for some of you. <laughs> However, it looks like there's somebody from your past, like I said, that you're thinking about. There might be something that causes you to kind of reminisce over this person. And I don't know, like there could be this newfound curiosity about this past person for some of you. And like I said, this past person could be a Leo. That curiosity could cause you to kind of um, maybe go on their social media see what's going on with them these days to see if maybe somebody from your past has kind of moved on because it definitely looks like you still have romantic feelings for this person those romantic and nostalgic feelings that kind of come up for this person could be causing you to um kind of make a decision about where you really want to be this new person may be very interesting for you, but like I said, this may be a transitional person. This may be somebody that you may transition to or get into a relationship with to kind of forget about a past person. But for some reason, it kind of seems, Aries, like you're having a difficult time letting go of a past person, letting go of a past situation. It looks like you're definitely in separation from someone and it looks like the person that you're in separation from has laid a clear bound, clear boundary to you that they're done. They may have said some things to you that really made it obvious that this is done, this is over. But maybe now you might be reconsidering or rethinking a commitment with this person. Who could be a water sign? I did mention Cancer. Could be a Pisces or Scorpio as well. Water is like the most highlighted sign here besides Leo and water. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Looks like you're missing somebody. Random, some of you could be missing your father. There could be a child that's missing their father, but I guess we'll get in more into that on the general part of your reading. Your dad could be a Leo, or this could be a baby's dad. Like you may share a child with your ex and who could be a Leo or could have Leo in their chart. But it looks like you definitely had to leave this person behind because they're a flirt. So this offer that they're extending or this offer that you might be extending, someone in this scenario is not really wanting to really take this offer seriously because of the past. Or... This could be an assumption that's being made. Like You may want to give this offer to somebody. You may want to ask them out. You may want to strike up a conversation with them. But you may feel that they don't feel the same. You're not sure if you should communicate with this person and reach out to them and send them this message, this invitation to maybe go out and talk, maybe have a face-to-face -face conversation. So it looks like you're trying to put this whole thing out of your mind. But it looks like in your quiet time, you may think about this person. Or for some for some of you, this person that maybe you left behind, you left this person in the past, it looks like they do think about you, but they may be thinking about the fact that, because they may want to reach out to you too. They may entertain that from time to time, possibly. 
but it looks like they're kind of stuck on this cheating thing, this, this love triangle, this third party situation. Because it looks like you guys had your share of arguments about that. You guys did fight about that to the point that somebody got fed up of the third party situation type of thing. Now, there could have been some cheating with maybe a neighbor or somebody that was on the job, but it definitely looks like there was temptation that somebody acted on. And this could have been a Virgo individual. I did say Taurus. Okay, and I did say Capricorn. And now we're saying Virgo. So the earth signs are definitely highlighted here as well. So I think we've touched on every element. We touched on water, we got fire, and then we got earth. Also air. So this person could be any sign. Yeah, it looks like somebody has blocked somebody because of because of there could have been repeated betrayal. Mm -hmm. And this could be an Aquarius individual. So some of you could be thinking about an Aquarius. Someone with aqua in their chart could be relevant to you. Yeah, it looks like some of you may have some regrets about some lies or some deception or having done somebody wrong when it comes to the past because it looks like in the past it was all fun and games. But now it's like you're this person is on your mind heavily and you may really want to start over with this person or strike up a conversation with them. But it looks like somebody has definitely set a clear boundary. So right now it looks like couples, you may not know what to do when it comes to this, it looks like you may have left for somebody else and somebody else, there could have been some temptation, like I said, that you were drawn, like drawn from your partner for because like you guys may have been at each other's throats and there could have been somebody new that came along that was fun and um, inviting at the time. But for some reason, you're missing somebody from your past and you're not sure if you can really take it back there if you can really go back there because it really does appear that that door is completely shut not just shut cemented shut for some of you like i said this could be um an assumption for others of you this might be actually the truth like this situation may be completely over and this person may have completely cut you off for some of you that's the case and maybe you're waiting for this person's um signal to see if you, like, like a signal from this person to see if it's okay. Because it does look like somebody got tired and got fed up of the situation and loved themselves enough to walk away. And this person that may have blocked you, they know you're watching them. Because they feel like it's easy to see through you. <laughs> and they know you more than you might think. And yeah, for some of you, it is too late. So let's see. Or like I said, this could be an assumption. Forgiving and learning. It looks like, yeah, looking back, looks like there's some things that you did really learn from this relationship. You may want some type of forgiveness from this past person or from your partner that you're now broken up from. Let's see. So this may resonate for the singles also. So this is, I got that for, who did I read for? I read for Cancer and Cancer is showing up in this reading. So there is definitely some parallels between the Aries and the Cancer reading. Yeah. You want this person back, it looks like they expect you to make the effort. They feel like they put forth the effort in this relationship and they're saying, now you make the effort if you want me type of thing. Because they're saying, this is done. I made the effort. You didn't. So now we're done type of thing is what I'm getting. They're saying, you didn't take this relationship seriously. You didn't want me when you had me type of thing. This could even be a friend that may be feeling this way about the situation. Yeah. So you guys are in separation, obviously. So it looks like somebody has some healing to do and may have some baggage. For some of you, like I said, you may be in separation from your father or there's a child that's in separation from their parents. There may be some healing that takes place within a family unit. Looks like you're retreating to focus on your career. Your career is now your focus. Looks like you're driven by your career or your person could be driven by their career and not this relationship. But yeah, there it is again. Somebody does want forgiveness. Somebody does as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Deception. This relationship was torn apart by deception and lies. 
and some issues that have been unresolved. And maybe some other issues that could have driven the two of you apart. But I feel like one of you is definitely wanting to express your love. You say how you really feel. The feeling like your energy or your efforts are definitely unwanted and that it's completely too late. Could be how you're feeling. So that would be actually for the couples and the singles. Well, let's, because one of, so for some of you, this could be a twin flame connection. Well, let's go ahead and see. Let, let's, let me go ahead and shuffle anyway for the singles and see if there's any, maybe some little minute differences that we can look at. Definitely, without a doubt, there is a Leo. There's definitely a highlighted Leo here for you. This could be a family member for you. A friend of yours. Leo, okay. So let's see. For the singles, are there any differences here? <laughs> No doubt, there's a Leo. That's obvious. All right, so some of you may have had a breakup with a family friend or um, it's obviously a lover. Yeah, this is the same. You got the earth sign popping up here. So no doubt this could have been an earth sign, specifically a Virgo, fire sign, and Aries. This is you, Aries, possibly dealing with an earth sign or you may have earth in your chart. Yeah, somebody, a Cancerian or somebody with cancer in their chart is returning. Or you may want to return to them. You may doubt that a reconciliation can really occur possibly between you and a Capricorn individual. Capricorn with water in their chart, possibly. Looks like somebody still loves you. But yeah, it's like you you doubt that a reconciliation can happen. So it's like at this point, they blocked you. All you can do is wait. So yeah, I feel like you are waiting for them to kind of take the lead in this situation. I do feel singles that there is someone that wants to reach out to you, clear the air with you. They no longer want to be in this very distant place from you, a distant hostile place from you. They want to move on from a past issue and they want to communicate. They want to make things better. They want to make amends, especially if this is somebody that was not committed. It looks like somebody can't really let you go. They're having a very difficult time letting you go and feeling quite defeated about where this relationship is currently. Feeling unhappy about the way that they treated you. You feeling like... I don't know, maybe at some point they stopped putting in the effort. They have they didn't make the effort that they, they used to make. It looks like there is a lot of remorse about this. And they really think about this a lot in their quiet time. And it looks like you do want a clean slate with somebody, but there just are some things that just kind of remain unsaid. Because somebody feels like their energy is not welcome. Same thing for the singles. So for those of you, like I said, that you're talking to somebody, you're in the talking stages, you're getting to know this person, you want to know where this might go, let's take a look at this. Whew. Well, some of you could definitely be meeting a twin flame. This could be a relationship that has its share of challenges, and it looks like your mission is to kind of merge your energies. Hmm. Those of you who are getting to know somebody, you may have a fear of rejection. So maybe you might be taking it slow about really professing your love to this person. So you could definitely start off as friends. And this person may have a child for some of you. For some of you, you guys may start off not being serious. right? You may be being friends first, but you may be completely aware that this person is seeing other people. Be careful that this doesn't become a toxic type of situation. Because it looks like you may have a really, start off having a really strong bond with this person. But let's see where this goes. Singles. Not singles. Those of you who are talking to somebody and you're wanting to see if this is going to go somewhere. So let's see. For the Aries that are talking to somebody, getting to know them. Let's see. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There you are, Aries. Yeah. Hmm. All right, Aries. This could be you. It could be the other person. Looks like somebody is definitely afraid of vulnerability. Afraid to really put their heart on the line because it looks like your person comes with some baggage. 
You guys may have this in common. Who doesn't have baggage, of course, right? Oh, goodness, that's crazy. This situation could be halted like right where it is. Like it may not even get a chance to get off the ground because of this baggage. Somebody may have that much. Like we were talking about, somebody hasn't healed from some old issues. Yeah, it's like somebody may be hesitant to pursue you or really not taking action because, so this relationship might not really have a chance to get off the ground because they may be kind of nervous to pursue you. Because yeah, they have some old issues that they haven't moved on from or a person that they secretly haven't moved on from. A person that they may secretly want to go back to so this is looking very similar. This is the case with, yeah, it could be a Sag on the Capricorn cusp. It could be a Libra. So like I said, it could be any sign, but Libra is definitely highlighted here. Looks like somebody, both of you are afraid to be vulnerable and really put your heart on the line. Yeah, both of you may have some baggage. But yeah, this person could be lying to you about a multitude of things. Could be an Aries. This could be you, Aries. Come up in reverse in this reading. So yeah, you guys may have both been hurt before, been taken for granted before, possibly a Sag. Um, <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Somebody has somebody that they want to return to. So it's like a, only a matter of time before this relationship may come to an end because there's just some things that somebody is not communicating. So this may end up just being like a bed buddy for some of you guys. Like it may not really get, you know, may, may not even go past that between you and a Cancerian individual. They definitely feel like you look good. You look appealing to them. But there's some insecurities that could definitely like cause a damper in this relationship. Because it's like somebody may not perceive themselves in a healthy way. And somebody may, for some of you, somebody may just not have the bravery to say what's really on their mind. And for some of you, somebody really isn't free to really pursue you anyway. Because for some of you, they may be lying about their relationship status. They may actually be in a relationship. Or like I said, they may be talking to you, but mentally and emotionally, they are with somebody else. But they definitely feel like you look good. Or vice versa. And you might run into somebody that you feel that you're very drawn to, that looks very good to you. But it looks like some, for some of you, somebody isn't playing for keeps. In other words, they're just playing the field because they are kind of maybe venturing out, talking to other people in order to try to forget somebody from their past. All right. So let's look at the general part of your reading for the, I'm about to call you guys Sag. Like I'm not about to really call you guys Sag, but I definitely hear Sagittarius and I did see Sag in your in your reading some of you are definitely maybe double fire signs some of you could even be triple fire signs okay all right some of you aries like i hearing all kinds of signs i heard leo and i heard virgo goodness leo and virgo are so prevalent across the board in a lot of readings right now There may be some things that you've been wanting, that you've been praying for, that you've been trying to manifest into your life even. This upcoming winter time could be a very significant marker for you guys. Well, like I said, some of you could have been dealing with somebody that was born in the winter time. So Capricorn, Sag Capricorn, Cusp, uh, Aquarius, Pisces could be significant to your situation. Some of you Aries may desire a change in scenery. So there could be some traveling that you may be looking forward to, possibly in the winter time. That's what I'm feeling like if you're not going on vacation, there is just this desire to get away from the mundane, the everyday life. 
some of you may definitely be considering um, following through on an idea, a business idea, a business venture, or that could definitely be a career opportunity that opens up for you. Some of you are definitely, yeah, you may be thinking about a career change. Um, or for some of you, you are, you've already taken that, that road of a career change. For some of you, your career focus could definitely be on the upswing. Or you're definitely going in a um, positive direction with your career. You may become in alignment with the very thing that you're wanting to do. You may discover your life purpose and decide to pursue that. Some of you Aries could definitely be going out more. It makes more sense. Yeah, you're definitely the adventurous type. That's like the stereotype for your sign, right? Adventurous, wanting to learn new things, not afraid to start new escapades, whether this is a new person or like I said, a new business. Some of you children could be highlighted in your life whether they are your children or children significant, like I said, to your life. Some of you may discover that your life purpose has everything to do with children or you're just very drawn to children. Some of you, like I said, children um, is, are definitely a part of your life's purpose. Summertime could have been very significant to you in some way. So we're still in the summertime. So yeah, how, what is this? Or some of you could be dealing with someone who was born in the summertime. Leo, we did mention. Leo and Cancer. Scorpio is coming up. So maybe something significant may play out for you in this, like starting in the Scorpio season, leading into the winter time. This could be where you may see an upswing when it comes to your career. Um, I said career. Okay, yes, career. But also your love life. Your love life may take a change for some of you in the winter time or like I said, for some of you starting in the Scorpio season or you are dealing with a Scorpio drawn to a Scorpio. And that may be, like I said, the time between Scorpio season and winter could be very significant when it comes to your love life. Aries, I'm feeling like some of you could be very health conscious or focused more on your health. Um, you may be more conscientious about your health or what it is that you put into your body or entertain yourself with. And um, I'm feeling like some of you could definitely be more focused on your manifestation abilities, focusing on what it is that you want to pull into your life. I'm feeling like divine timing is definitely going to play a huge part in what it is that's going on in your life if you haven't seen something in your life move the way that you would like it to it looks like divine timing is going to play a big part like i said or for some of you this is divine timing this is the perfect time for you to move forward with something in your life for some of you you like i said you really have a longing for children or to build a family you may actually meet somebody in your life that could be very significant that could actually that you may see yourself with for the long haul or like i said for some of you some of you it's a general reading so for some of you the outcome may not be the same for all but for some of you there may be a dream that you have to have children to have had a family with a past individual and that person may be coming back in for you there may be somewhere in your life, Aries, where spirit is encouraging you to acknowledge your fears when it comes to building your dreams. This could be a place in your life where you're thinking about setting a solid foundation for yourself as far as your career is concerned. For some of you that are already business owners or, um, yeah, like I'm seeing that there could be an increase in productivity for you if... Um, you decide to really put in the effort, I'm feeling like things are going to start picking up for you. Yeah? If not, like if you saw a slowdown in the summertime, I'm definitely feeling like winter time may be a very viable time for you that, ha that own a business. So that's right around the corner. So Spirit is encouraging you to hang in there. 
I'm also feeling like Aries. You could be sorting out some type of chaos or confusion around you around this time or before this year is over. It's a good time for you to declutter your personal space. And no doubt, there could be an upcoming conversation with someone significant in your life. For some of you, this could be a mom energy. This could be a mother and child relationship or a father and child relationship where it may be time for you guys to be honest with one another or the opportunity may finally open up with someone that has definitely set some clear boundaries. Somebody may not be ready to communicate, but something may change and you may have an opportunity, like I said, to work out some old differences. I'm feeling like this is a perfect time since we were talking about laying aside some fears and finally going after your dreams. This is definitely an important time for you to follow through on some self-belief or this could be you, like I said, like finally believing in yourself right where maybe you've been lacking in something lacking in that area with believing yourself believing in yourself and following through on some nudges that you feel like your spirit guides are, are, are pulling you toward but definitely i'm feeling like in somewhere in your life there could be a change in direction there could be a new path that you could be walking down and spirit is encouraging you to yeah trust your intuition with this new path because it looks like it was meant for you but no doubt, I'm feeling like family is going to be a central focus for you for the remainder of this year or at some point before this year is over. Family. This includes family friends. This includes family, obviously family members, children. You're estranged from your children. You're estranged from someone that you have children with. Yeah, you may be obsessing over a person or a situation. A dilemma that has gone unresolved. And Spirit is saying, turn this over. Give this, like surrender this situation of an other, in other words. Once you do, you may clear your mind enough and clear your clutter and space around you, including your mental space, for you to um, find an answer to a dilemma or solve a problem that has just been outstanding or long-standing in your life that you haven't been able to see a solution to. Okay. That is what I see for you, Aries, in general. Let's go ahead and shuffle for the... Um... Advice. Goodness, the advice for your situation. So Holy Spirit, for the Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, the advice... Be strong, Aries. You're, you are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a healthy outcome. I no doubt got this card for cancer not too long ago. So no doubt, yeah, some of you are dealing with a Cancerian or you have cancer in your chart. Ooh. Home. Your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. Some of you could no doubt be moving or there could definitely be somebody moving in or moving closer to you. Aries, when it comes to your divine passion, spirit is saying, be honest with yourself. What's your heart's true desire? It may be time for you to get honest with yourself about certain things, Aries. And decide to allay your fears and pursue something or someone that maybe you've been holding off or getting some, or, or like I said, listening to your spirit guides and getting those, listening to those intuitive hunches and um, following through on some divine timing in your life. But that is what I see for you, Aries. Thank you so very much for tuning in for this point in time. Aries, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can head over to my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. You can find the link to my website below in the description box. I offer same-day readings if you're needing something rather quick. And other than that, Aries, this has been fun. I will talk to you guys again somewhere around mid-month. Till then, Aries, take good care. I'll talk to you guys soon.
Peace. Bye for now.